Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, thank you for subscribing. And don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today what we're going to do are a few different tutorials. We're going to use two of these foam hearts that you can purchase at Dollar Tree, of course. Um, they're the glitter ones. And I'm going to paint one black and one white. So just go ahead and what I do is I grab onto the hanging ribbon part of this heart and just um, hold it so I can paint it all um, front and back of your heart. Now, some people ask me what kind of paintbrush I'm using. I use my old uh, eyeshadow paintbrushes as paintbrushes. Um, you can get them at Dollar Tree. They're the elf ones that they have there. I just like the way they coat better. So um, instead of purchasing more when I run out, um, I check my makeup brushes first. And if I have some that I don't use anymore or they're just too old, I just recycle them and use them to paint. <laughs> um, but yeah, so just go ahead and paint the front and back of your hearts. Once they're dry, this is how they'll look. And just go ahead and first uh, tutorial we're going to do is with my black heart and i used one of the larger silver tray bowls um, and then a round foam ball i also got two stems of roses and the stems that um the rose colors that i'm using are purple and black these are the roses that they had during halloween if you can't find these or don't want to use this color um, just use whatever color you want that matches your decor And um, what I'm doing is basically pulling them apart and pulling the leaves up higher and then just cutting the stem a little bit longer than what I want or think I'm going to need. Um, that way I can just go ahead and cut any of the stems if I need to as we go. Once you've cut all your flowers, um, just go ahead and start inserting them into your foam ball. And like I said, just cut them um, as you go. That way you um, have enough the height that you want. So just go ahead and start inserting them. What I typically do is insert the back ones and then the front of whatever I'm going to make. And then I start kind of filling it in with the sides, then the, in the center. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my black heart that I painted and I'm figuring out how I want it. So I decided to go ahead and cut uh, two of these stem leftover pieces of stems that I had and I'm going to insert them into my foam heart and then insert those, the, the other end, into the foam that's in my um, vase or my stand if you want. And um, all you have to do is just push it in because it's foam so it's pretty easy. Now I'm also going to add a little bit of hot glue to the ends of my foam just to make sure they stay in place. And you can do the same to the bottom part of these stems. Um, so when you insert them into your foam, they'll stay in place as well. They'll just be a little bit more secure. Especially if you're going to use this, say, for a centerpiece or something and people start touching it um, more than normal, you would want all of this to be glued together. So just go ahead and start playing with your roses or whatever flowers you decided to use. And just make sure they're nice and full and you're happy where they're at and satisfied. Once you're done with that, go ahead and grab some, um, what I'm going to grab first is my last uh, broken arrow that I purchased at Dollar Tree. So these arrows, they're still there. Uh, I went a few days ago and I saw the mirror uh, arrows there. So you can uh, still find them. But I just wanted to go ahead and finish this pack that I had broken all the arrows from. So I glued the top part of my arrow to the front top of my heart and I'm going to glue the up bottom part to the bottom. Now they're pretty easy to cut so you can just trim them off and just cut whatever extra um, piece of the arrow that you do not want to use. And then once you're happy go ahead and glue it onto your heart. Now, if you are going to use this as a centerpiece, make sure you paint the back of your arrows black as well so you won't see them. Um, since I'm going to use this 
with facing the wall or back the back towards the wall I just left them as is now you can grab some battery operated wired lights and just kind of wrap them around your hearts and, and I'm sorry your flowers inserting them in and out weaving them through and then once you're done with that if you have any extra go ahead and wrap it around your heart now the Dollar Tree wire lights are a little bit smaller than these Amazon ones so if you're going to use the Dollar Tree wire lights I would recommend you purchasing two of them um, if you want them to be wrapped around your heart and also around your flowers uh, because one will only do um, one or the other so that's another option if you wanted to do all Dollar Tree just go ahead and make sure you get two of them um, and I'll also leave this link down below of these battery operated wire lights as well if you want to get them from Amazon so that was one project second one we're going to use two of these metal rulers and make sure you remove all the stickers from the rulers and then put the number part or the number side of your ruler your actual ruler uh, facing down with the plain uh, metal part facing up now just go ahead with your two rulers and make an X and what I'm going to do to attach this X together and glue it together is I'm going to use some E6000 and I just eyeballed it just make sure that my X looked fine and I went ahead and added some E6000 and left it alone for a few minutes to allow it to dry um, not a few minutes roughly about 30 minutes so once it's uh, dry go ahead and grab your heart and decide where you want to glue it and how you want it to uh, sit, stand right by your X and then go ahead and glue add some glue to wherever areas that they attach together just like this and then just hold it for a few minutes to allow it to dry now I got some Jenga stick uh, pieces to make a stand if you don't want it to stand up on its own and you want to hang it just go ahead and add some jute twine or ribbon to the back of your heart and X what I did was I grabbed one of my Jenga pieces and put it in the back then I grabbed a second Jenga piece and glued it to the front of the center where my heart and X attach kind of making it into a sandwich I guess you could say <laughs> so I made my two Jenga's into one square and now I got my third Jenga and added it to the other side of my X just so it could be leveled and have a better sturdier stand so to glue my metal piece to my wood I went ahead and added some E6000 to the bottom of my ruler and attached it to my Jenga and my Jenga piece. Now go ahead and allow this to dry for a few, uh, at least a good 30 minutes. And then you uh, can either leave the Jenga pieces as is um, or paint them. I decided to paint mine silver. Now I'm grabbing two pieces of ribbon and the black and white checkered ribbon is a longer wire ribbon. I just cut it in half to make a smaller piece. And then I grabbed my wired glitter ribbon from Dollar Tree that um, was there during Christmas time. I'm not sure if they're still there, but I'm sure they have some kind of glitter ribbon right now. So go ahead and grab that ribbon and grab them both together and just make a simple knot or a simple uh, bow. I'm sorry. <laughs> and go ahead and adjust it. And now once you're happy with your bow, go ahead and glue it onto your X and your heart where they both meet together at the top. And there you have it. Now you can make this any kind of style to match your home, adding some burlap or um, beads or glitter if you wanted more of the blingy style. So the... the you just make it to, to match your style of your home. So next project we're going to do is we're going to use uh, these glitter vase uh, foam balls. They're the fillers. And I got a needle and thread, tied a knot to the, the bottom of my thread and basically going to start sewing in or inserting some ribbon, um, some foam balls into my thread. And I just make any pattern you like or make it any style or any of the size foam balls because there's 
a, quite a few variety sizes in this bag. And what I did was use three of the larger foam balls and then one of the smaller foam balls to make this garland. And I used all the red ones. With one of these bags of the foam filler vase, vase fillers, you can make at least three, I want to say, um, garlands that are about 20 inches in length. So you, you can make quite a few of them with one bag, so it's very cost friendly. Um, just go ahead and make them as long as you like. I made mine, like I said, about 18 to 20 inches in length. Now once you're done with uh, making your garland, go ahead and grab any kind of ribbon you like. I'm using this jute twine and I'm wrapping it around the same tray that I have right here. Um, at Dollar Tree you can find these trays but just grab anything that you want depending on the size of tassel you'd like. I wrapped it around my tray roughly about 25 times. Now I'm going to grab this ribbon and use this ribbon that I got at Dollar Tree. It's the red and white checkered ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the same tray two times. And now I'm going to do the same thing with this ribbon. And I love this ribbon. I grabbed quite a few of these uh, rolls of ribbon. Um, it's like a burlap with a little heart on it. It's so cute. So once you're happy with the amount of times you wrapped your ribbon around, go ahead and grab another piece of jute twine and just tie a knot to the top of your uh, ribbon to tie them all together. And what I do is I grab another piece of jute twine Remove it from whatever I wrapped it around, in this case my tray, and carefully, where, right in the center of the opposite side, I tie another knot with another piece of jute twine. Now, on the sides of that, if you can see right here, all I did was just cut it, and this is how I make two tassels exactly the same. It just seems a lot easier to me to do it this way than to wrap each one individually. Now just fold them together and adjust it. And there you have your tassel. Now what I'm gonna do is just kind of trim off the edges of my ribbon just to make it and give it more of that clean finished look. And all I'm doing is cutting them in an angle. Now I'm grabbing one of my tassels and tying it to one end of my um, garland. And then I'm gonna tie the second tassel to the opposite end and all I'm doing is with the thread that's left over I'm wrapping it around my garland and then I'm going to insert it and kind of just sew it together I guess you could say um, give it a, quite a few little sti few stitches through the thread and just wrapping it around as I go and then inserting it and making another stitch and just continue doing that until you're happy and you think it's nice and secure And if you don't have a needle thread or you don't want to do it this way, just add some E6000 or hot glue to your foam ball and attach your tassel that way as well. Once you're done attaching your tassels to your garland, what I did was I went ahead and grabbed these wood piece uh, stickers and they're the heart shaped ones. I grabbed two of the same size and then glued them onto the top of my tassel. Just hold your wood piece for a few seconds just to allow it to dry and make sure it stays nice and secure and even and straight. And then you just do the uh, same thing to the opposite side. This garland is so fast to make, uh, just depending on how much you want to add to it, um, if you want to add tassels or not, but they're really easy to make. Now my second tassel that I wanted to show you guys how I'm making is basically the same thing, my needle and thread. And I'm just threading those foam balls through my needle. This time I'm using pink and white. And this is the same bag of uh, foam vase fillers that I'm using. And as you can tell, there's still quite a few, uh, a lot on my tray. So you can make another one, uh, maybe even two more, just depending on how long again you wanna make it. 
So for this one, again, I wrapped around my jute twine on my tray. And for this one uh, tassel, I wrapped it around about 15 times, grabbed that extra piece of tassel of jute twine, and then I'm going to remove my jute twine from my tray and then just tie the knot in the middle. And I double knot it. And now all I'm going to do is fold my jute twine together and then cut the edges to make sure they're all um, cut and nice and even. Now with that extra thread again, just kind of sew on my tassel to my uh, garland. And once you're happy with, again, with the amount of times that you've sewn it together, just go ahead and uh, make a little knot and cut off the excess thread and needle. Now, once you've cut it off and you're happy with it where it's at, you can leave it as is. You can leave, just leave it that way. But what I decided to do was go ahead and make that tassel head part. And I grabbed all my jute twine together and then just grabbed another piece of jute twine and wrapped it around the top part of my tassel. And I wrapped it around eight times. And then cut off and tied a knot to make it uh, nice and secure. Now you can leave it as is once you've already tied your little knots on your to your jute twine. But what I decided to do was add a little bit of glue to the um, end pieces of my jute twine just to make it more um, even and make it look like the tassel. It came with the tassel like that. So I went ahead and added some glue to one of my foam balls so I can make sure that it stays nice and secure also to my tassel. On the opposite end of this garland, you can leave it as is or do what I'm doing and just grab um, any kind of ribbon or jute twine and just make a simple bow and glue it onto the end. Again, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this one, this piece right here. Just cut off any of the extra jute twine or ribbon that you don't want on here. And there you have it, another um, garland idea. Now you can do what I'm doing again and adding another piece of uh, wood heart onto your garland. And this time I decided to use one of the pink hearts. And I just glued it on top of my uh, tassel. How adorable. I love having all these beads around. So this is the first project. This is gorgeous. I love the way this looks with the lights on. Um, Again, you can use this for a centerpiece for a wedding. It would be beautiful, black and white, or any color. And here's my X and O, or my X and heart. Again, I love this one. You guys let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite, or are you going to make all four? And here is my red garland. And my pink. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And again, if you did enjoy this tutorial, please give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Till next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.